The Baltimore Ravens got a much needed win here at MT Bank Stadium, beating the Cincinnati Bagels 24 to 21. But this was all about Lamar Jackson. The rookie got his debut as a starter because Joe Flacco was hurt and he helped snap a three game losing streak. And he did it with his legs, running the ball 27 times. That's a record for the modern era of NFL. But that's not exactly what you want to see. You want to see your quarterback sprinkle in the run here and there, but he's going to get hurt. He's got to prove, if he wants to remain the starter, that he can lead his team with his arm. If he's facing a prolific passing attack, the Ravens will not be able to use this kind of a high school rushing attack with the read option, because if he cannot go out there and play well against the Raiders under a heavier workload, then look for Joe Flacco to come back, because at 5-5, five and five, they're trying to make it into the postseason, and they need to finish off the month of December on a strong note. The defending Super Bowl champions are trying to figure out where do we go from here. They lost 48-7 to New Orleans, and it's the worst loss in history for defending Super Bowl champions. It's embarrassing, Carson Wentz said, and now they're wondering, can we save this season and at what point, after a bunch of close losses and then a 41-point loss, is our season over? It's time for reflection, players were saying. What does that reflection show? Well, the reflection shows that the Eagles aren't out of the playoff hunt. The NFC see East is only two games away from their grasps, but also, Lane Johnson said, we need to remember this burn, we need to remember how this hurts, because this isn't something that's fixing itself, and it's time that we stop talking, start acting, and figure out where do we go from here. The Washington Redskins are still in first place in the NFC East, but that's really kind of where the good news stops for them. Their injury luck and losing another key player, this time it's their starting quarterback, Alex Smith. 33 years to the day that Joe Theismann suffered his gruesome leg injury when Lawrence Taylor tackled him. Smith had a similar situation. He broke his fibula and his tibia, requires immediate surgery, and is out for the rest of the season, which means that if Washington wants to make it to the postseason, it's really on to Colt McCoy. They have a one-game lead in the NFC East over the Cowboys, and coincidentally, come Thanksgiving, Washington will be traveling to Dallas to face the Cowboys and essentially was battle for first place in the division. It's going to be a huge game. This is a division that's completely wide open and I think this game against Dallas is going to give us an indication of whether McCoy can really continue to keep the Redskins competitive with him as their quarterback. But with that said, they signed him to a one-year extension. They brought him back because they felt he was a capable backup behind Alex Smith. So I don't expect Washington to really make any big changes. I think they're gonna move forward and try to make this playoff push with him as their quarterback. 